Hello, Writing 101 students. Before you get into your research project any further than the free writing that you've already done, I feel like maybe I should talk about the elephant in the room. Plagiarism. You've probably heard about it. You may know what it is. You know almost certainly that it's bad. So I think we should talk about it before we get into the process so that you know how to avoid it and you don't have to stress about it. It is a big deal. People have lost their jobs over plagiarism. Election campaigns have ended because candidates were discovered to have plagiarized. College students have been known to fail classes or even be kicked out of their major for plagiarism. It, it matters a lot. So what I want to do is take just a few minutes to make sure you understand what it is and a couple of important ways that you can avoid it. And then you'll get to do an exercise in which you try to recognize plagiarism, try to determine whether a certain use of a source is or is not plagiarism. There is purposeful plagiarism, and I think you all understand what that is. Um, this is the blatant kind of cheating where someone, perhaps pressed for time, finds an entire piece of writing on the internet or maybe from a friend or whatever, and they paste it into a document and put their own name on it like it's theirs and turn it in. It's an outright lie, completely cheating. That is blatant, major plagiarism. And nobody does that by accident. I do need to make sure you realize that if you do that and I catch you, which could happen, uh, it will have an impact on your grade and there will be contact with administration and with your parents and there's a good chance that it will end up going on your permanent record, you know, as a major disciplinary issue. So don't do it. But what about accidental plagiarism? That's what you might actually be worried about. What if I plagiarize without meaning to? That can happen. Um, what happens is either you have seen something in a source and it kind of gets in your head and then you type it without thinking it's coming out of your head without realizing that it's from a source. So you didn't mean to cheat, but you have taken something that was somebody else's and passed it off as yours. It's plagiarism. Or... Accidental plagiarism can happen because you really don't understand how to correctly use a source. And so you make mistakes with the way that you give credit to a source or show what comes from a source and what comes from your head. And without meaning to, you have done wrong by your source. You have plagiarized. So... How can you avoid that? How can you avoid accidentally plagiarizing? There are two major uh, steps that I think are important to take. One is to always give credit to your sources. Anytime that you use the words of a source, the ideas of a source, even if you put them in your own words, the information from a source, which you could not have known out of your own head. Anytime you use stuff from a source, you need to give credit to that source. You need to name it. Tell where you're getting your information, your quotes, etc. That's important. Give credit to sources. And number two, be really, really careful with quotations. Make sure that whatever you put in quotation marks is exactly what the source said. Don't put quotation marks 
around something you said, even if it comes in the middle of what the source said. Quotation marks only go around words from the source. And to flip that coin around, anytime you use words from a source, the exact words of that source, make sure you enclose those words in quotation marks. So giving credit where it's due and being really careful about quotations are the keys to avoiding plagiarism. Is there anything that you don't have to give credit for in a paper? There is something called common knowledge. So, for example, Abraham Lincoln is the 16th president of the United States. Maybe you didn't know that off the top of your head. Maybe you had to Google that. Do you need to give credit to the source that told you that? No. That's considered common knowledge because you can find it in a number of sources. Anything that's like that, any piece of information that is in lots and lots of sources that a lot of people just know anyway is common knowledge and you don't have to give credit. It's things that come from a particular source that you have to make sure to give credit for. So, when in doubt, I would say where something comes from. Be careful about giving that credit, be careful about quotations, and you're gonna be fine. You're honest people, you're good writers, you don't have to sweat about plagiarism. Enjoy the exercise you're gonna do, and I will see you in a few days.